Hey guys, it's Sinem and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here and you're watching me for the first time. Today I have a huge makeup haul and it's just basically things that I've accumulated over Black Friday deals. So these things have been sitting here for a while and some have just started arriving. So I thought I would do a huge makeup haul because those are always fun. And I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up for Black Friday. So I have boxes from a lot of different places. And first, I think I'm gonna go into the box full of e.l.f. goodies. Now, I <laughs> I went crazy because e.l.f. had 40% off during Black Friday and I picked up a bunch of e.l.f. stuff. So I thought that would be exciting, show you guys what I picked up from e.l.f. So from e.l.f., as you can see, there's a whole box here. So the first thing I'm just gonna pull them out is um, the brand new e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. So I picked up this concealer. This is their brand new concealer and it really reminded me of the MAC Prep and Prime highlighting pens, my holy grail. So I wanted to test this out and see if it could be a dupe. I got mine in the shade Fair 15 and it looks like this. So yes, it's basically just a brightening pen and it's their new concealer. So I picked up that, which I'll be testing out in a video. I also picked up their brand new liquid metallic eyeshadow. This one is in the shade Moon Loon or no, Moon. Moon or Loon? I don't know, but it's it's in that shade. It's kind of like a rose, rosy pink copper. Kind of like my nails, look at my nails. Kind of matches it. And this is their liquid metallic eyeshadow. So not their glitters, it's a new formula, a new product. I also picked up, of course, my e.l.f. mineral infused mascara. I've actually got it on today. This is one of my favorite mascaras from e.l.f. It's just very light on the lashes and it's a great everyday mascara. So I picked up that. And then I also picked up the Flawless Concealer Brush, which looks like this. I actually watch Juicy Jazz here on YouTube. She's so lovely and she always raves about this for blending out the concealer. I think it's her. I'm pretty, sh pr 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 pretty sure it's her that raves about it. But either way, someone <laughs> raves about it and I wanted to pick up for myself. So again, it's the Flawless Concealer Brush and it looks really nice and fluffy. So I'm excited to play around with that. And then look at this more stuff so i picked up let's just pull them out i picked up the elf dewy coconut setting mist now i have the coconut setting mist already and i think they repackaged it so i'm excited to see if it's the same thing but yes the dewy coconut setting mist and it says it's long lasting which looks really, really nice. I can't wait to try that out. And I think this is brand new as well. I also picked up the Total Face Sponge. This I've seen so many people rave about. I have seen so many people rave about this, um, this sponge. Apparently it's like one of the best drugstore sponges. So I'm excited to test it out and see if it's like really soft and bouncy and how it blends foundation and concealer out. Let me know down below if you guys have tried this sponge and your thoughts on it. Still going, I picked up three of the liquid glitter shadows. So I already have two, which I absolutely love and I wanted to pick up a few more shades. So I picked up these three. So it's a silver, a pinky and a copper shade. And these are permanent, they're not brand new shades. Actually one is brand new. So Pinky Swear is a brand new liquid glitter which is just again kind of like matching with my nails look at the packaging and my nails oh i love it um it's basically like a pinky liquid glitter so that one's pinky swear and then i also picked up copper pop which is a really oh my god again matching with my nails what the heck so copper pop is a of course copper shade and then last but not least, this one looked super fun, like maybe for New Year's Eve. I'm not going out, but I will do like a New Year's Eve glam. And I think this would be perfect for the look. This one's in Bling Bling, which is a super, super glittery uh, silver. And I just think this would be really, really nice on the eyes for that occasion. So yes, I picked up those three. And then I also picked up two of the Seriously Satin lipsticks which if you guys know me and have watched my tutorials, I've used these so many times. I think I have four shades already and I wanted to add two more. So eventually I'm gonna get the whole line. I love these, they're super creamy, they're super pigmented. They're only three pounds or three dollars if you're in the US. It is amazing. You can't go wrong with them and they stay put all day and it's a satin finish. So it's not gonna be slippery, but it's not gonna be super drying either. It's just the most comfortable, creamiest formula and they're super opaque. So. This is the two that I picked up. 
I picked up Taffy, which is a nice kind of um, neutral pink. It reminds me of Mac Murr lipstick. And then I also picked up Sugar Plum, which look how fun this one is. It's like the perfect winter lip shade, kind of like this deep plummy berry which I think is just really, really nice if you do like a simple wings liner like this and then just have this on the lips. So yes, these I'm living for. And then we have just a few more left. I also picked up the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. Now this, I have been dying to try. I've been dying to try it. However, I have heard some people say that there's shimmer in this powder. It's supposed to be a setting powder and it's supposed to just give you this really nice halo kind of blurred effect under the eyes, but still give you a little bit of dimension. Like it's not supposed to look completely matte. And I'm just worried if, I mean, I can't really see any shimmer at the moment, but I'm just really worried when I open it up, if there's gonna be a ton of shimmer and sparkle in this powder. So I picked up in the shade Light, and again, the Halo Glow Setting Powder. If you've also tried this, do let me know, does it have a ton of shimmer, um, or how does it perform? So I'm gonna be trying this out in a video as well. And then, two things left, I picked up some eyeshadows, these. So believe it or not, I only own one e.l.f. eyeshadow palette, a big one, that's the Retro Paradise palette from the Summer Collection. So I wanted to pick up more of their permanent palettes and this is the Opposites Attract eyeshadow palette and it looks like this. So it's got your warm tones and it's also got your cool tones, which I'm assuming is what the name suggests that, you know, you can mix and match them. Ooh, so this is what it looks like. Opposites Attract palette. I'm really drawn to this shade right here. So yes, I'm gonna have to play around with this. Looks really, really nice. And I picked up that one. And then last but not least, for the eyeshadow of the e.l.f. product, I just picked up another bite-sized shadow. This one is in Hot Jalapeno, Jalapeno, however you guys pronounce it. Jalapeno, Jalapeno. Hot pepper, that's what it basically is. And it's just all these nice fiery greens and olives and it's just stunning shades. So this is the perfect little green palette because you have two green metallics there, more of a gold green and then more of a true olive metallic green and then two mattes, a nice crease color and a nice deep, deep forest green. So this, yeah, I can't wait to play around with these shades. And it just makes it easy for you because you have your mattes and your shimmers and they're just the perf perfect tones of green, which I think is gonna suit a lot of people. So I picked up a few things from Beauty Bay. One, I actually didn't pick up from Beauty Bay, but I just chucked it in here anyway. I picked this up from Debenhams and this is the, okay, let me talk about this for a second. This is the Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Serum Foundation with SPF 40. This foundation is the most, creamiest and comfortable natural looking foundation that I have tried. It's expensive. This foundation is expensive, but it truly almost feels and performs like a skincare product. It feels very skincare-ish and it's not liquidy. It's not watery. It's just the perfect consistency and perfect formula and all that kind of stuff. I will have to try it out in a video for you guys um, and you guys can see how it looks on the skin and how it performs and goes on. It has bamboo grass and lychee extract as well. SPF 40, which is high for foundation. I picked up my, I picked mine up in the shade Warm Ivory. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Look at this, fancy bottle, super fancy. It's almost, I think it's glass and it's quite heavy. So yes, this is a luxury foundation. If you have money to splurge or if you're looking to buy it, get it. I'm telling you, it's so worth it. And I just love it. I mean, this like sitting on your vanity is so cute and it just looks very, you know, luxurious. Next is some stuff from Beauty Bay. So they did also have a Black Friday sale, of course, and I picked up quite a few little things. So I have been eyeing these two things from Beauty Bay and I finally saw them on sale for Black Friday and I decided to go for it. So I picked up and I've never tried this brand brand out ever. Never tried anything from this brand. This is Nabla, Nabla Cosmetics. And this is their brand new side-by-side -side eyeshadow nude palette. When I saw this on Instagram, I died because this, first of all, packaging, oh, I love it. It's so simple and sleek. Look at that. It is just my kind of vibe. But the palette, oh, look at that. I love 
the kind of chocolate brown against the cream. It's so nice. Oh yeah. These, never tried anything from this brand, but these already, from my opinion, look like they're gonna be the most creamiest and pigmented eyeshadows. So I will do close-ups because of course the camera's not gonna do it justice right now, but you guys can see just how it looks. It looks absolutely incredible. It has your basic neutrals, but then it also has these four really interesting shades. You have kind of like a taupe and then a matte gray, which you don't really see in palettes. And then it's not really black. It's kind of like an off greeny navy black. It's really hard to describe like a grayish black. And yeah, it's just a really, really, really nice palette. I'm so excited to play with this. And one thing that really made me wanna buy it is is these shimmers because the shimmers look super glittery and foiled and metallic and they just look like they're gonna look so nice on the eyes. And to go along with it, I also picked up, again, brand new, the Nabla Ruby Lights Glitter Palette. And this is with the same collection. So it came out together. And I know they have the Miami Lights one, but I wanted to try, look how fancy. I wanted to try the Ruby Lights Glitter Palette. First of all, if this is not the best packaging in the entire world, in the entire makeup industry, I don't know what is. It's sleek, but it's got this clear, like it's completely clear, even from the back, you know? And it's very just thin and magnetic, and it's very sleek and classy. And then you have these four glittery shades. Look at that. These are supposed to be incredibly chunky, and glittery and just foiled. So I cannot wait to play around with this. Yeah, let me know, do you guys wanna see a dedicated video using these two products? Or if you wanna see it using other new makeup products, let me know down below. Next from Beauty Bay, I picked up two Wet n Wild products. I've been really into Wet n Wild lately. So I picked up the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. And this is in the shade Precious Petals. So it is just a kind of peachy, pinky highlight. And it really reminds me of uh, MAC Soft and Gentle. It's got that same kind of, you know, pinky soft highlight. It's not very pink. It's definitely got a lot of peach in there as well. So it is more of a peachy pink highlighter, which I love those kinds of highlighters. And these are great. They melt into the skin and it's affordable. Again, can't go wrong. It's super blinding. Um, so yeah, Precious Petals. And then I also picked up the... Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Give Me Mocha, which looks like this. And it's a nice matte mocha shade, I guess. Brown terracotta nude. Terracotta, that's what I would say. This would be, again, perfect for this time of the year or just as an everyday kind of brownie, deep nude shade. So I picked up those two from Wet n Wild. And then I think, oh yeah, two more things from Beauty Bay. This next thing I'm so excited about. This is the this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Haute Holiday Lip Gloss Set. So this is brand new from their holiday collection. And it comes with four lip glosses for this holiday. These are just so pale and so me. So I will be testing this out in a video. I'm not gonna swatch any now, but it's basically all these beautiful um, nudie, milky pink pinky shades and concealer type lip gloss shades. It's just so beautiful. And it has like a nice rose gold shimmer lip gloss and then a nice pearly peachy lip gloss. It, if this doesn't scream Sinem, I don't know what does. This is me in a nutshell. So I may have to pick up another one if I can find it because I know it's sold out now. But yeah, I, I'm i gonna message them and just say, please make it permanent and I can't wait to try out those. And then last but not least, I picked up another Nabla Nabla Soft Touch Lipstick. Don't know if these are new. I don't think they are, but I wanted to buy it just because I wanted to try it out and it looks really nice. And this is in the shade Chloe. Oh, it's kind of mini. It's very small. Looks like that. Ooh. So this is the shade Chloe. Again, my nails is just ma matching with everything today. So this, I don't know if you can tell, but I'll do a close up. 
It has a soft, of course, what the name suggests, soft touch feel to it. It's like a velvety formula and it looks really, really nice. So I can just imagine this looking really plush and smooth and creamy on the lips without looking drying. A few things left. So now I'm going to move on to Revolution and Morphe. So from Revolution, I only picked up two things because, I mean, they're quite affordable anyway, and I just didn't really need to go crazy with this stuff. So I'll show you guys what I picked up. If you watched my Friends Times Revolution collection video, you know I was obsessing over this. So I had to pick up another one. This is the Joey lip gloss from the Friends Times Revolution collection. It is a really nice pale mauve pink and it's incredibly pigmented because I didn't expect it to be super opaque. One swipe and it just gives you a really rich amount of colour and it's super glossy and it's non-sticky. I actually wish I picked up two now <laughs> but actually it might still be in stock. I'll leave a link down below if it is but yeah I um I had to pick up another one. I absolutely love it. And it was on sale for Black Friday. And then I also wanted to pick up this because it looked really nice. Again, neutral palette. This is the, and also the packaging is super cute. It's like this really nice cream color, nude color. This is the Revolution eyeshadow palette in Forever Dynamic Serenity. Serenity? I absolutely love the packaging. It's kind of like this plastic soft feel and it's just this really nice color. And it's so cute and small and compact. Oh, it's a little hard to open. Ooh. Okay. So it looks like this. Look how cute. Your basic neutrals. I really like this sparkly gold and this rich chocolate brown. Basically, it's just a everyday neutral palette in a really small little compact, which I just think is super cute. And yeah, I was really drawn to these colours. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these palettes out before. Their formulas are always really good as well. So yes, again, this is that palette that I picked up. So last but not least, moving on to Morphe, I picked up two palettes. They were having 50% off their palettes that day and almost all of it was sold out, but I managed to snag these. The 35C palette and the 35H. So check this out. The 35C palette. It's the Everyday Chic Artistry palette. Oh my goodness, I think this may be one of the best Morphe palettes ever because wait till you guys see it if you haven't seen it already. This is the 35C palette. This, like I said, is probably one of the best Morphe palettes ever because it just has all these just beautiful tones. You have a little bit of everything in this palette and it's all these really nice mauve pinks. Like, look at this middle shade. That's really calling my name. And it also has these really nice greens at the bottom, like really, really just rich, deep shades. And they did not play with this palette. There is just something in here that I, you know, my eyes are drawn to each time. Like every time I look at the palette, I'm always drawn to a different shade. This one, and then I'm drawn to this really nice one. And then even this like periwinkle purple, and then the metallic version of it. And then even this, the greens, uh, just the best palette ever, honestly. I'm not even just saying that, it is to die for. I don't know where this palette was all my life, but I'm just obsessing over it. So I cannot wait to play with this in a video because I haven't even swatched it, I haven't even touched it. So yes, the 35C Everyday Chic Palette. I hope it's permanent. Then I picked up the Hotspot 35H Palette and this one, oh, this one's nice as well. So this one looks like this. All these really, really nice bright tones. This one I'm actually going to be giving away in a Instagram giveaway. So if you're not following me on Instagram, be sure to follow me. I'm going to be doing an, a giveaway soon, probably towards the end of the year. And I will be giving away this palette as well. So yeah, it has these really nice pinks and bright shades and blues, deep blues, neutrals. It's just a little bit of everything again, but it's great for those of you who maybe want to get into colour. This like metallic turquoise blue, like these are calling my name. So yeah, a really nice fun palette and the formula is great, of course. And then last but not least, I picked up two lipsticks, which I'll just grab. So I picked up the cream lipstick and the mega matte super lipstick. So let's start off 
with the cream. So the cream lipstick is in the shade Flirt and it looks like this. Look at that, is that not my shade again? Just a very pale, just kind of milky nude. It's really, really, really pretty, very nude, which is right up my alley. And again, it's in the shade Flirt and it is a creamy formula. So that is the first one I picked up. And then I wanted to try out their Mega Matte, not just matte, but Mega Matte. And it says long wearing and full coverage and deeply pigmented. This is in the shade Bare All. And this one is a really, really nice, oh, nice kind of deeper nude. It's not as deep, but you can see it's a little bit darker, maybe a little more wearable. And it is just a super, super matte shade. So I can't wait to try out these two nude lipsticks. And I've never tried Morphe's lipsticks before. Oh, I just realized it has gold and the other one doesn't. Oh, fancy. So this one is Flirt, the light one. And then the darker one is Bare All. Let me know which one you guys would rock. You can see it a little better there. So I think that is it for my huge makeup haul. Do comment down below. Let me know if you've tried any of these products out before and all that good stuff. And yeah, just... Leave me a comment down below. I'll chat back with you guys. And it was super fun. Again, I, I just thought I'm, you know, picked up some really great deals. A lot of the stuff was, of course, like 50% off or 30% off. So I thought, let me just grab this stuff now. I didn't go too crazy, you know, um, but I think I went crazy enough. So it's some makeup to try out in my upcoming videos. Stay tuned. And yes, I cannot wait to play with this stuff. So I'm gonna let you guys go now. I hope everyone is staying safe. And until next time, I'll speak to you guys all in my next video.